Yo, my name is Ruslan, I'm a student of Business Information Systems in Berlin and today I have a really special guest and I'm really happy that you have enjoyed this video. Yeah, sure. And today you want to share your experience how it is to be a computer science student here in Berlin. Mm. But before we start the video, I have something to announce and the announcement is that if you like the video, like always, it costs you nothing to subscribe, to leave it like and if you have questions about computer science, how it is to study computer science in Berlin, definitely leave a comment. We will definitely spend our time to answer those questions. Okay, I would say introduce yourself, tell the audience who you are, what you're actually doing and yeah, share your experience with us. My name is Jonas and I'm studying computer science at Technical University of Berlin mm. and um, I'm almost finished now. I'm just in my last semester. Mm. I'm doing my master in the next semester mm. in distributed systems, which is a field of uh, computer science. Mm. And yeah, I want to speak about my experience, my difficulties, which I had. And yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Definitely. Um, so so the, one of the most interesting questions is, for most of the people um, who are watching those videos, the question is, do you have to be good at programming to study computer science? You don't need to be good in programming. Mm -hmm. For example, me, I was, I've been not very good in programming. I didn't even have skills in programming. Mm. I just started it and I had to struggle a lot in the beginning. Mm. But I met one guy who was very friendly mm. and he was studying with me together but he yeah. didn't have also any experience in programming. Mm. But we've been motivated and we motivated each other. Mm. So we became better, we asked other students from higher semesters mm. and yeah, that's it. You just need to be focused, motivated mm. and uh, yeah, you don't need to be good in programming. Definitely, definitely. And this is also the same experience I also had if you connect with other people, if you have a good, cool group of people, let's call it like this, who motivate each other, like you said, who support each other, yeah. who are not afraid to ask, let's call it stupid questions, you know, because people are afraid to do this, and you would definitely have a better time. Yeah. You know, you definitely also enjoy the studies, you don't feel alone, uh, you will also feel less pressure during the studies because you will always have somebody who can support you and also from my own experience it makes more fun to do yeah this. sure and definitely so like you said before you don't need to be an expert you don't have to work at NASA before to study computer science <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah. and uh, definitely try it out especially if you have the interest to become a developer in the future yeah sure you sure you need to be uh, you need to program for sure that's one of the main parts in the in the stu in the mm. computer computer science studies um, but just you know just don't be afraid to start with it you don't need to have skills mm. before that mm. during that you need to learn a lot of mm. programming languages and you need to be uh, yeah very interested then mm. in that mm. for sure you need to be interested yeah. definitely and if you would start over to study computer science what kind of programming language would you recommend you should learn before the studies properly if you have the time to do this before if you have time for that um, you can start with python mm. i think it's mm. a very good language because you don't need to uh, know a lot for that mm. um, you will have a lot of uh, libraries mm. and yeah it's uh, you 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 can continue then with java mm. or c or uh, yeah it's the basics you will learn in Python, then mm. you can do a lot with Python, yeah. Okay, cool. And um, how many programming languages do you learn during your studies at, till the end? It's from 10 to 15, something like that. It's a lot, yeah. yeah. It's definitely a lot because yeah. in comparison to my studies, we, we will probably learn seven or whatever, you know. Mm. And so if you go into computer science, you will have more languages, which is also good, right? Because yeah, sure. you will you have a deeper knowledge, you you have a better understanding of programming, and also in the future you are more attractive for the company if you go only one hundred percent into development. Yeah. For somebody sure. like me, it could be a little bit difficult because I like you said, I learn only the half of the programming languages, you know. Yeah, yeah. So it can be a little bit difficult, but if you want to be a developer, definitely go into computer science. Yeah. And 
from your own experience, what kind of difficulties do you have faced as a student in computer science in Berlin here? Um, for me, it was very, very uh, difficult um, to start with this with the computer science uh, subject mm. um, because, as I said, I was not good in programming mm. and. Um, also not good in mathematics mm. everybody says oh you need to be very good in mm. programming and yeah. mathematics and things like that but you just need to be focused motivated and you need to do a lot and you need to have the interest to learn and to get better mm. and you need to ask other people from other from higher semesters mm. they will help you I, w I went all the time to the study room mm. with a friend mm. and every day and night I was there and asked other people to help me when mm. I was confused with the task or mm. you know yeah so definitely during the studies get connected with other people yeah sure it will definitely help you out mm. and how many courses in mathematics do you have to pass during your study we have five six courses mm -hmm. in mathematics mm -hmm. so it's uh, like analysis mm. or linear algebra mm. Um, stochastic, mm. discrete strukturen, we have logic, mm. uh, you know, the theoretical uh, stuff of uh, computer science, mm. there we have also a lot of mathematics. Mm. Um, yeah, so you need to do also a lot of mathematics, mm. but you don't need to be good in mathematics before. Yeah, yeah. you don't need to be Einstein, you just mm. need to be very, very uh, busy and, uh, mm. yeah. Definitely. That's it. Because in comparison to my studies, I only had like two subjects in mathematics, which is only business mathematics and uh, statistics. So it's interesting to see that the focus in your studies is more heavier on mathematics yeah. than in my studies. So if you would give to somebody who would start his first day at the U Berlin, mm -hmm. what kind of advice would you give this new fellow student we have? Uh, at first, you need to you need to know the other students. Okay, that's the most important thing mm. because you will learn a lot from them. Mm. And when you're also very um, not comfortable with that uh, subject mm. or mm. you feel lonely, you are not. Ev everybody thinks like the, like you who are who is studying that. Yeah. yeah? So you can see that the problems are almost the same with everyone. Definitely. Yeah. Mm. And um, also what is very good when you start with your, with your studies, mm. you, should, um, you should Google, for example, the mm. courses. Mm. Mm. And you, you can find them in the internet. Mm. I was not doing that. That was not good for me, mm. but you should do that and uh, just Google the courses. Mm. What, is, uh, what, is, what are the topics in this course? And you can see everything, the whole, the, whole, uh, the whole study. You can see it in the internet before you even study with, uh, uh, before you even study that. Definitely, and this is uh. also a really good recommendation uh, because also from my own experience, we in Germany have like this special website I'm gonna share it here in the video which is called myprof.de if you study in mm. Germany definitely check this out because on this website students who have passed the courses or who have studied several subjects they evaluate their professors and you should definitely read the reviews about them because sometimes passing the course is not only depending on how good you are yeah. but also if someone is passionate to teach you you know and if someone is passionate to teach you something you will definitely have an easier time to learn you are more motivated you feel less bored you know and definitely check this website out because it will definitely help you to pass the courses like when you finish these studies in computer science do you have any ideas in which direction you want to work in the future? Um, I think I want to work in distributed systems. Mm. Um, that's a very big field. Mm. Um, I'm also very interested in blockchain. So mm. blockchain is one small part of distributed systems. Mm. And yeah, that's it. Peer-to-peer -peer systems. Yeah. yeah.
that's it. Definitely something not many people do in the future, uh, like right now. In the future, probably it's more mainstream. Yeah. But right now, especially younger people like we both, we always integrate with blockchain somehow. Probably we have invested in Dogecoin or whatever, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, but not many people are developing this, you know. So that is great that you always uh, that, that you have the interest to do this in the future because this is definitely a good market. Yeah. Um, and uh, I also see from my own experience, even bigger companies try to integrate blockchain into their product and services in yeah, order to yeah. try to, to open new markets because they know a, a digital coins is also like a big I don't know billion dollar market or whatever you know so there's definitely a lot of value for the companies and also for you for the future yeah. you will have definitely good start in my own opinion um, I hope so yeah definitely yeah. definitely yeah so is there something you also want to tell the audience at the end do you I think that's it. If you just yeah. have any questions, just mm. ask him. Mm. He will ask me them. Or uh, you can I can also check the channel out. If I you can. Have yeah, sure. I can yeah. check it. Or yeah. I just come again if you guys want that. Yeah. Definitely. So if you want to see Jonas back, give us five likes because it's a lot for me. It's on a small channel. Yeah. Give us five likes, and then he will definitely come back, and uh, we're gonna make a small series about it. Write it in comments. Definitely. So thank you very much for watching. Vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen. You're gonna see us hopefully in the next video. I think definitely. And at the end, peace. Yeah, peace.